Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I am taking part in the Artist Guild collab and I am drawing Charlie at the seaside. Um, I've just joined this group and they're a really great bunch of people and I'll leave links to all of the people participating in this month's challenge in the description down below so make sure you go and check out all the other awesome artwork from this group because it's really cool I've seen it and it's great and there'll also be a collage of everyone's artwork at the end of this video. So the theme for this month was first time at the seaside in a long time so what you would do if you went to the seaside and hadn't been for a while and I thought what a great opportunity to draw Charlie at the seaside because Charlie doesn't get to go to the seaside very often because he has to walk there and it's quite a long way to walk if you're a small little mouse so he gets quite excited when he goes to the seaside and he wants to do all of the things that he can possibly do so I drew him having a little paddle I rolled his dungarees up I also gave him armbands because he's a little bit shy of the water but he likes to paddle in the water so I gave him some armbands and a rubber ring that he can play with and also a fishing net because he likes to go and fish and I drew a little fish poking out of the water but he doesn't he doesn't keep the fish he just catches them and looks at them and then puts them back so he's not cruel like that I also drew a sandcastle with a flag on the top a little cheese flag because you know Charlie loves his cheese and I also drew a towel and a beach ball and some shells around him and I drew a napkin on his head you know like more of an old school kind of thing and um, where people used to put like a tissue on their head and roll up the corners for a little sun hat because he can't get a sun hat to fit because he's so small and I thought this would look quite cute as well and I gave him a really happy expression on his face. I also didn't realise that well before I started colouring that Charlie's colours in his clothes are blue and yellow and because I wanted to do a really cartoony piece because it's Charlie that the sand and the water are also blue and yellow so I had a bit of a job to try and get them to look different so I had to work on different textures in this piece so for example I did quite a lot of stippling in the sand and some layering up of some gold browns and yellows and in the water I had to do a lot of variation in the sheen and the different blue colours so it would be different blue to his dungarees. So if you're new to my channel, welcome, my name is Katie and I make art videos, I do a combination of speed paints, challenges, sometimes tutorials and I make quite a lot of videos about my little mouse character, Charlie McNeil and he is the star of this little seaside adventure. So if you like him, do feel free to subscribe, I upload a new art video every Thursday and the occasional bonus video on a Sunday. So do hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on those and also because now I'm part of this artist guild collab I might be uploading more videos outside of my schedule to fit in with them. Them, so make sure you hit the bell so you don't miss out on them. So I coloured this piece in with my Copic markers as you can probably see from the video. Um, I inked it with my 0.5 Unipin liner onto some Bristol board and I used my light box to transfer the sketch. I didn't film this because I don't usually film my inking process although I do have an inking video which I'll leave in a card above if you want to check out how I ink and why I vary the line weight. And yeah, once I had coloured it in with my Copic markers, I used my white polychromos pencil to add some highlights. I have two reasons for using the white polychromos pencil. Um, number one, it's less harsh than a white gel pen, for example, and it gives you a bit of a, a less bright highlight, and this worked really well for the water. And number two, my Prismacolor pencil is so small I can't use it and I haven't been able to find one um, an open stock for a good price so I use the white polychromos and it is a little bit less pigmented than the Prismacolor but it works okay and like I said it worked really well for the water but I did use my white gel pen on top afterwards especially for example in the water where the water meets the sand where it's quite foamy so I did a white highlight there and some white highlights on the rubber ring as well and on the um, net because I didn't want it to just be black I wanted it to have a black and white so it would stand out from the background and also I added some white to um, his dungaree buttons and also I put some white gel pen on his face on his forehead and on his cheeks because I wanted to add sun cream and I really really like how this turned out I think it looks really quite cute because Charlie is a British mouse so he's very very cautious of the sun because the sun doesn't come out in Britain very often so when it does he puts lots of sun cream on because he doesn't want to burn his little face because he has a very sensitive furry little face. So to add some more texture to the sand I also use the white gel pen to add some dots to the lighter areas and my gold gel pen to add some dots to the darker areas and I use the Signo gel pens, the 
broad I think they're 0.7 maybe I, I can't remember but anyway yeah I really recommend these gel pens because they are very pigmented and they're very opaque and they especially work quite well layering on top of markers so the white adds some nice highlights and the gold kind of adds some nice metallic sheen so yeah I would definitely recommend these and if you're interested in colouring this line work, I will be uploading it to my Patreon in July for the $1 tier reward. And if you pledge $1 every month, you will get a colouring page. It won't always be a Charlie colouring page, but there will be a few Charlie colouring pages on there. So if you are interested in colouring this line work in, I will leave a link to my Patreon in the description down below. So do make sure you go and check out the other entries for this month's Artist Girl collab. I've seen them all and they are all really, really cool and there are some really creative pieces. And do stick around till the very end because there'll be a collage at the end of all of the pieces from this month's collab. And also, if you like this video, you know, emotionally, please do leave it a like down below as that does really help me out. And also leave a comment with some suggestions for some future Charlie pictures. I'd really love to hear your suggestions and you never know, I might make one of them into a video. So here is the final result. I really like how this piece turned out and I want to do some more pieces like this in the future. I think of some more creative things to do with Charlie. So that's all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I will be uploading as usual on Thursday, so I'll see you then. Bye for now.